Welcome back, everyone. This is the second episode of Storytime with Rob for Films. Ah, coffee, still good. I was really considered eggnog this time. All right, so last episode... Episode one went pretty well. People seemed to like it. I got a few comments. They said, hey, you need to dig deeper. Down to where it hurts. I've told a lot of these stories over the years to various students, and they like to comment on here. And and, uh, people that I know, and I know what they're talking about. They want me to dig to the point of being a little embarrassed. Um, And I'm not above it. It's hard to have self-pride these days. You know, it's just, it's a crazy notion. I'm digging deep this week kind of embarrassing. I I think I might cry on the inside. They say, if you're not tasting blood, you're not working hard enough. Is it bad? Or is it, if you're tasting blood, you should probably immediately go to a doctor. Eh, teach his own. Whatever. I think I need to give a little background here. So here's the deal. You might not believe this, but at one time I was a very heavy man, quite fat. You're thinking, you're pretty fat right now, but I mean, no, I mean like. See what I mean? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Way out here, I mean, I could set a plate right here and like eat, which is probably how I got that big in first place. A little more background. When I'm home, don't get grossed out. When I'm home, the first thing I do when I walk in the door, there's no company, I just rip my shirt off. Like, I'm not really into wearing shirts. If it's absolutely freezing in the house, probably not gonna pull the shirt off. But any other time, yeah, shirts, it's gone. I'm stalling, I'm honestly stalling. I'm not sure I really want to tell the story. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Here goes. So, you know, after you have that, you open all your gifts, you get up early, you open all your gifts, uh, the kids open all their gifts, all that thing, and then you go eat a nice meal for, for Christmas dinner. And then you get done and you just want to take a nap. Like, I'm not a big advocate of naps. I might have mentioned this before. I'm not sure. They call me the nap Nazi. Side note, story for another day. But it's a true story. I was laying on the couch. And this just happened to be when Destiny was probably about three. She was into Barbies for a very short amount of time. Maybe six months when she was three. And it just happened to go through that six months. Uh, through Christmas, and so she'd ask for some Barbie dolls, some Ken dolls. Later, there was a whole other incident where we had to start taking the Barbies and Ken from her because she started dissecting them and then putting heads on other bodies. It was, it was... Yeah, I'm, I'm always been a little worried about that kid. Anyway, I guess I need to give one more bit of backstory. When you're that large, some people, me, had a very deep belly button. It's just like I could put like my whole finger down in that thing. It was crazy and and wide. That was, that was, it was a cavity. It was a cave. You could spelunk that thing. Ah. Okay. That's a gross thought. Don't don't stop thinking that now. That's, that's really gross. It's, It's nasty. Anyway, so I'm laying there and I'm napping. It's like somebody's touching me. I'm not really sure. So I wake up and I look down and she has her Barbie and her, her, her Ken doll and uh, she's like playing, like one's talking to the other. It was super cute for like two seconds. And uh, then as she moved Ken around, I realized that Barbie's legs were shoved into my belly button and she was standing by herself. I gasped. I was like, <gasps> and about that time, Barbie wiggled. It freaked me out a little bit, to be honest. That was, that was strange. Like she was like inside of me. Like, that, oh, so gross. Anyway, so I get mad. I grab Barbie. I pull her out of my belly button. I just throw her over across the room. And I yell at Destiny. He's like, leave me alone. I'm trying to sleep. She looks at me like, what? What's your problem? You know, kid always had an attitude. I close my eyes and I'm laying there for a few minutes just trying to get that whole thing out of my head. I'm just like, I don't ever want to remember this. And this is really embarrassing. Glad no one else saw this. I feel like someone is watching me. Open one eye and she's standing right here. And I said, what do you need, Destiny? What do you need? In her little high-pitched little three-year-old voice. Can I have Barbie's shoes back? So I dig in my belly button, pull the shoes out, and I throw them across the room, and then I just 
get mad and I turn over and I pout for like the next 30 minutes till I fell back asleep. Rude. All right, guys, thanks for watching. This was episode two. I don't know how many I'm going to make, to be honest. Whatever happens, happens. Thank you for watching Storytime with Rob for Films. With thumbs up. Uh, if you liked it, uh, if you didn't, I guess just don't do anything because I'd prefer you not putting thumbs down. And do what you want. I'm not your dad. Please subscribe below. Uh, if you'll hit that little bell next to the subscription button, uh, it will alert you anytime I put out a new video. Hopefully these things are going to be coming out pretty regularly. I think I'm doing a pretty good job right now. Uh, we are on break, so that does make things a bit easier. But after that, who knows? Thanks for watching. See ya!